An arrest order was issued in the Philippines today for President Rodrigo Duterte's most outspoken critic, Senator Leila de Lima. De Lima spearheaded an investigation into the rampant extrajudicial killings that have resulted from Duterte's war on drugs. Now she's being accused of taking bribes from detained drug lords. De Lima says, however, that the charges are all part of Duterte's plan to silence her. The Department of Justice is accusing Senator Leila de Lima of receiving 5 million pesos, the equivalent of $100,000, while she was justice minister. The allegations against her are mostly based on the testimony of inmates. Wala po akong balak takasan yung mga kaso ko. Wala po akong balak magtago dahil haharapin ko po ang mga kaso na yan. Delima has denied the charges, which she says are part of Duterte's attempt to intimidate critics of his ongoing crackdown. Senator Delima has been investigating Duterte's alleged involvement in extrajudicial killings since 2012. She's also been one of the only politicians to vocally oppose his war on drugs, which has left more than 7,000 people dead. In August, Delima led a Senate committee investigation in which a former hitman testified that under then-Mayor Duterte, he was paid to kill alleged criminals and opponents that left about a thousand dead. Ang isa sabi ko lang sir, sobra na sila sa umuutos na pumapatay. Hindi namin nalalaman kung sinong pangalan. Bigla lang tinatawag kami, pinapatay sa amin. Parang nakukunsinsya na din ako. Ang sobrang dami na ang namamatay sa Dabao. Just four days after Delima presented this witness, she was stripped of her chairmanship of the Senate's Justice and Human Rights Committee. In January, I spoke to Delima in Manila about what happened next. After you launched that official investigation, the president told you publicly to hang yourself. Well, all those offensive language being hurled against me by the president is just really part Sorry, of the... Is that my phone? You know, many of my calls are actually hate calls in this phone. All of these unidentified numbers, these are trawlers, these are haters. Do you receive death threats? Oh, yes. I've been getting a lot of hate messages, hate callers, and also death threats ever since the House of Representatives in their probe publicized my uh, phone number and even my home address. I went ahead because it's part of my job and because it's the right thing to do. And now, no one has ever seen the, this magnitude of uh, vilification campaign being hurled against a public personality. Big picture for the country, why are you taking on the president? I'm a lawyer. I'm an elected official of this country. Rule of law must prevail. If convicted, Delima faces between 12 years and life in prison. Well, they've been saying that they're gonna destroy me within the year. So I tell them, if I have to go down, I have to go down fighting. <laughs>